Now I'm going to do a laser engraving from a JPEG, from a picture, uh, like when we do a photograph. And I'm just going to use a simple demonstration. So we go to Extras, select the laser module, uh, find the picture we want to use. I've got it open already, so I'll just open it again. We can do the scaling here. I'm going to make it 70 millimeters, relatively small. The line separation, we're going to leave it on 20%. The angle 45 degrees is a nice angle to work with when you're doing this laser engraving. In this case, we could also go on zero and it would go up and down uh, uh, pretty much across the one axis, but we'll leave it at 45 for this particular project. Uh, we can change the, the levels, the minimum and the maximum level, to filter out uh, lighter and darker pixels if you would like to exclude some of them with a filter. I'm going to leave it full and I'm not going to invert the photo into a negative, we're going to leave it normal, so we leave that on no and we hit start, now it will take a little bit of time for it to generate the toolpath so we'll just have to hang in there uh, and just wait for it to finish doing that, it will come and ask us to export the data as a, a toolpath file once it's done, so please bear with me if we're wasting a little bit of time here, in the interim uh, we can have a quick look at the wind PC and see if we go to parameters and under miscellaneous we can have a look under the more function and just check and see that we are looking at it from the spindle speed command for this type of application we're going to look at that spindle speed command to see the data I'm going to leave it just like that okay and let's have a look if the constant cam has come back to us with an answer yet, not yet, so we're still going to hang in for a little while longer. And there we go, milling dart to the milling machine, yes. And I will put it under laser engraving pick, save it, replace that file. And away goes the engraving data in the WinPC and see we can open that laser engraving pick file, so open. Uh, there it is again, we can just use the magnifying glass to scroll in and it's relatively small. And if we open the G-code and have a look, see, you will see the spindle speeds now will have various, uh, um, uh, for the white it will be zero and for the dark it will be 15,000, does it on its own. If it's a picture with uh, various different grayscales, these values will constantly be changing and it will uh, be... Uh, uh, the, the difference in the grayscales will come up with the power of the laser output. So that's basically very similar to what we did the last time, except this one now is for a JPEG or a picture graphic, and you can run that engraving on your materials by clicking Start. Thank you.